looks like you've added some muscle where you didn't have it before. <laughs> um, working with these guys is great. Uh, coach Nick's really intense in the weight room and on the court too, and so is Coach Martin. I mean, if you look at all the coaches, they bring that same mentality. There's no, there's no dip in the intensity, and they've got us working really hard, and I think we're really benefiting from that. When you have guys, when you have Conzo actually working out in the gym with you guys, that's got to be a little different. Yeah, yeah, especially when he's going crazy on the punching bag, and it's it's pretty great. Yeah. Intimidating? Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he's the he's the motivating example for you. Is that the idea? Yeah, because I mean, you see him working hard, so you know, if if he's holding himself to the same standard he holds you, it's you know, it's it makes it easier. What do you weigh now? Uh, two thirty eight. That seemed impossible when you first got here. Yeah, I never would have, uh, never would have guessed. What'd you weigh when you first arrived? Two. 195. Yeah. That's about the same I, thought, I thought it was under two. Yeah. Nicodemus told me thought about 215. Yeah. I said, oh, on his best day. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> when I first got back, I was almost 245, but I, you know, I was not running as much, and so I had to cut some of that. Being the, uh, I mean, the, 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 the lone survivor here as far as big <laughs> men go, how much, uh, how much pressure is that? Is that on you? Do you feel that? And and is it is there more pressure to stay healthy? Um, I mean, I've always you know felt like I. Well, I mean, there's not a ton of pressure to stay healthy. Everybody just wants to stay healthy. So I mean, that's whatever. But um, it hurts losing Cameron because you know it takes away a guy who had some experience and who could have added some stuff to the team. But you know, Coach Martin's got us working hard, and every guy from one to however many we have on the roster is capable of playing. So. Um, I'm not. I'm not worried about anything like that. Where does your help up front come from? You think? Who do you, who are you seeing that you like so far? I mean, uh, Dwight Tarwater, who came in from Cornell. He's got some, a really good step away game, and you know he plays really hard. He's really strong, and physical. Christian is uh, without his knee brace now, so he's looking really good now. That he, he looks like he's actually comfortable. He doesn't look like he's uh, struggling at all out there. He's been really doing well in practice. He's playing with some confidence now, yeah. and some assertiveness. Definitely, definitely. Uh, if Tyrone keeps growing, he might get into that. <laughs> yeah. He might get into that rare yeah. fight here. Yeah. Is, do you think, has Dwight played bigger than he is? Because he's like <clears throat> six six, but he's he's a wide body. Yeah, yeah. I think he has. I think he has. He does. That's how. I mean, that's just how he is. Yeah. Are you prepared for the likelihood that there will be times when it's you and four guards on the field, on the court? Yeah, I think we were kind of, uh, we almost kind of had a prelude to that last year in the NIT without Richard for a couple of weeks. So um, it shouldn't be anything unusual to us. And um, Coach, Mar like I say, Coach Martin's preparing us for everything that can be thrown at us. So is this offense a little more suited, a little better suited to having four and one as opposed to maybe the Latin, the uh, Coach Montgomery's offense? Um, I think it's, you know, he's preparing us for whether we're playing two bigs or one big or whatever it's going to be. So um, whatever we're going to run is going to suit us perfectly. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited for the season. So. Well